Hi everybody, I'm going to show you how to combine images again, but we're going to go into a little bit more detail. It's one of the things that's really great about digital images is that they can, the sizes can be changed so that you can get the scale correctly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this image here. It's called A Walk in the Park and it's available at squigglefly.com. And it's a cute little image on its own, but I want to add some more images to it, put more people in this park. So I've got this image here, a little gossiping girls. It's all of these images are available at Squigglefly. And if you saw my other video, you know that this background has to be transparent so that if I had the girls standing here, you'd still be able to see behind them. So we're going to make this background transparent by clicking on this magic wand tool and click in the white area that you want to take away. Let me back up here a second. And click to delete and that will delete this white so that it's transparent. And don't forget the little areas like we have here between their hands and their neck. Just click in there, click delete. And now you've got a transparent background for this image so we can move them over onto this scene. Um, I've got another man here all tied up with this dog that I've already made the background transparent. So now to get these images into this scene I open up my new blank document by going to File, New, Blank File. As I said before, I always have my um, settings at 12 inches by 12 inches just because I know I'll have enough room. I have my resolution set at 300, my color mode is RGB color, and my background is transparent. Now I have my whole new blank file that I can create my scene on. So we'll go up here to this Move tool and we'll start with our background which is the park scene. So I can just drag it over onto my new page. And now I'm going to close this park scene out because I'm finished with it. So now I can add my man with the dog into this scene by moving him the same way that I moved the park image. I'm going to delete, or not delete, but close him out because I'm finished with him now. And we'll get our gossiping girls into this scene. And let's close her out because we're fin or them out because we're finished with them. Now I've got this scene here with some gigantic girls whispering about these tiny little people and this man here, but we're going to make this all to the correct scale and it will all be seamless and look as if they belong together. Let me make this a little larger. So that we can work with it. Now if you were using rubber stamps, you would have to do a lot of masking of your images to combine these and it would be really hard to find the stamps in the correct scale. So that's the beauty of the digital images is that we can make these all work together. Let me make this a little smaller because it's a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. Okay, now I want this man, I just click on him and I have a frame around him. Let me zoom in to where you can see this frame. See these little squares down here? That will let me slide my image down and I can very easily see how to make him in scale with these people. And since I've made his background transparent, it, the scenery behind him is showing through. So we're going to put him here by this tree. 
and he still may be a little bit bigger than those people. He's he's closer to us though, so we'll make him about that big. Now these gigantic girls, let me move back out. These gigantic girls are going to become smaller click on them the same way that I clicked on that man and slide them down and I want them to be standing out here in this grass so they've got to be quite a bit smaller and you can you know that you would not be able to do this with rubber stamps and the masking even if you had them all in the right size would be a nightmare you don't have to cut them out they all just become part of the scene so these little girls are going to be out here playing. They've been playing in the grass and telling secrets just like little girls will do when they're in the park. So this is all now one scene. I could add more things back here if I wanted. I could have a cat over here to make this dog would be barking at a cat. But um, just for demonstration purposes, this is going to be my scene. So if you'll see over here... I've got these layers because every time I bring something new into the scene it creates a new layer. So we need to combine all the layers into one and we do that by going to layer and merge visible. And now all of this is one scene. And if I wanted to crop this out since my page was so big I don't need all that empty space. I go over here to this rectangle marquee tool, click it, and then I can just crop my image, eliminating all that extra space that's not needed. Go to File, or rather, Image, and Crop. And now I've got this whole new image ready to color. It's combining three different images, all right in the right scale, and I would save it as a new file name so that I don't have to do it again and it doesn't mess up the images that you originally started with. So anyway, I hope that's been helpful to you. Another thing that I wanted to show you, let me close this.